In this video, I'm going to be showing you Firecrawl, which is a really great way on how you can take in URLs from websites and convert them into markdown that you can use, whether it's within reg pipelines or for LLM inference. The great thing with this tool is you can paste in a URL and it's going to go and recursively crawl that URL. If I try it on the Langchain website here, what this is doing behind the scenes is first it's going to hit that initial link and then from there, it's going to find all of the different links within the page. And then it's going to go ahead and subsequently crawl those and convert those pages into Markdown. You can see what the output from the scraped web pages look like here. It's really nice, succinct, organized Markdown. You might be wondering, why do I need Markdown and why is it useful within my LLM application? But you don't need Markdown to pass into your LLM application. As you likely know, you can really put in anything within these chat interfaces or within these API. You can pass in code, you can pass in text, you can pass in all sorts of things. But the benefit of passing in Markdown is you see how clean this is. If you tried to pass in a raw website within an LLM, you're gonna be passing in a ton of different tokens that just don't apply. So you think about an HTML document, there's going to be all the div tags, all the heading tags, all the classes, data attributes, IDs, you name it. There's going to be a ton of stuff within that HTML that is going to be a lot of bloat and frankly wasted tokens if you're trying to pass in raw HTML. Now an alternative, if you try and pass in just the text content of everything, you're going to lose out on the different links within the page. It's not going to be organized in a way where it's going to understand the different headings on the page and all of that. This is a really nice way where it gives you that hierarchy of if the website's set up with semantic HTML, it should hopefully give you a nice representation of that HTML page within Markdown. Just a couple other features within Firecrawl. And what I love about this project is they're just publicly building this out, which is really great to see. I love when people just build useful things that we can uh, learn from and use. And I think this is a really great implementation here. So you can crawl a URL, do that recursive crawl like you just saw. You can scrape a single URL. You can imagine different use cases for each of these, right? You can search. And there's a new feature called LLM Extract, which is a really neat idea. Essentially, you pass in a URL and you get the responses for the schema that you're looking for. In this case, it says company mission supports SSO, is open source, etc. Let's just go ahead and try and run this on the Langchain website and see what we get. We passed in the Langchain website and the response back that we have the company's mission here. We have supports SSO, false, is open source true? I really love this as an add-on to the other features here. Check out the playground. You can make an account as well. There's also pricing here. So it's a credit-based system. If you want to go ahead and use their API, alternatively, there is an open source version of this. If you like getting your hands dirty and trying to set this up yourself, you can definitely go ahead and try this as well. There's a number of different ways that you can use it. You can use it from the Python Node SDK, Langchain, Llama Index, and then even the Langchain JS integration. Really great to see there's a robust consideration for developers. I always love to see when there's a number of different SDKs available and seeing projects that aren't just necessarily using Python or what have you. It's really great to see a ton of different implementations here. There's some good documentation on if you go ahead and try and run this locally, you can just go ahead and run through these instructions here and then get it all set up. Just a quick one today, I just wanted to show you a fire crawl because it's a really cool project. I encourage you to check it out. Kudos to the team at Mendable. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm eager to see how this grows over time. If you found this video useful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, until the next one.